Hey guys, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today we're going to demo a basic French twist. Now this hairstyle is probably, other than a French braid, one that everybody should know how to do because it's just really basic and there's a lot of um, variations that break off from a French twist. So it's always good to have in your arsenal of hair ideas. Okay, so we're going to start with just brushed out hair. It doesn't matter if it's curly or straight. And then we're just going to pick up a piece at the top. Kind of smooth it down. And we're going to divide it into two sections. Now you're going to cross them over, one over the other. And again, it doesn't matter which way you're twisting. If you're left-handed and you want to twist the opposite way, that's fine. What we're going to do is just like you would a French braid, you're going to pick up a little hair on this side and add it in. You can use a comb to smooth the pieces down. Now, this is a little different from a French braid. We're going to take and add in a section on this hair at the same time. And then, when we've added hair to both sides, we're going to cross them over each other. Now, if you think about it, if you only added hair to one side of a twist, you'd only be adding hair to that same strand over and over and over which is why you have to add hair in on both sides before each twist. So again, we're going to take this. We've now added hair. Now I'm going to switch my hold and add hair on this side. And then take both of those pieces and twist them. And you can see the beginnings of our twist forming as we go along. So again, and you can do these sections as big or as small as you want if you wanted a really twisty version, you could add in, you know, really tiny little pieces all the way down. Or you can add in more big pieces like I am. And we're going to just finish it off. Keep going. Switch your hand hold. Twist it again. Add in hair. Switch your hands, and that's the last of my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. I'm going to brush that just a little bit before I start twisting again. And twist. So you can twist like this all the way down. Now if any of you are familiar with a basic twist, they don't stay super tight. So what's going to happen, I'll show you if I put an elastic in her hair at this point, is that this tip, oop, that elastic just broke. Let me grab a different one. Her hair would untwist to some degree. So I'll show you what it looks like when that happens. It's going to look like this and it's going to be looser, which some people like and that's fine if you do. I prefer it to be a little tighter. So what I'm going to do when I get to the end right here where we've picked up all of our hair is twist this one, this piece, to the right. And then I'm going to have her hold this for a second. And then I'll take this piece and twist it to the right as well, to my right. And then I'm going to twist them together. Okay. And what that does is secures that twist in the bottom. And you'll see the difference when I let go of this one. That it hardly moves at all. And it stays put. So there you go. This is just your basic French twist. And if you don't already know how to do this one, I would strongly encourage you to learn it because there's so many offshoots from this hairstyle that can be really fun and unique and different looking. And also, great summer do, because it's pulled out of your face, you can do it wet or dry, doesn't matter, anything will work. We hope you enjoy and we'll see you for our next tutorial.